Ranger Bill, warrior of the woodland, struggling against extreme odds, traveling dangerous trails, fighting the many enemies of nature. This is the job of the guardian of the forest, Ranger Bill. Pouring rain, freezing cold, blistering heat, snow, floods, bears, rattlesnakes, mountain lions. Yes, all this in exchange for the satisfaction and pride of a job well done. There's lots of excitement in Naughty Pine these days. This is the time of year when the state championship bobsled race is held at Culver's Peak. The bobsleds race at breakneck speeds around Culver's Peak, twisting and turning on hairpin curves, and then they come into the straightaway, which shoots them down the side of the Shady River Valley. Our rangers hold a speed record of 65 and 3 tenths miles an hour. And we've held the championship for three years. But now our position is being threatened. The Cole brothers from the southern part of the state are entering the race this year, and we could lose the championship. Listen to the story, Bobsled. Here's some more in the paper about the Cole brothers, Bill. Those guys could beat us and win the championship, couldn't they? Yeah, they sure could, pal. Their sled's been timed at maximum speed of 68 and four-tenths miles an hour. Mm. We'll have a hard time to get that much speed out of our sled. Yeah, you can say that again, young feller. I've lost three pounds of weight since the last race. We need all the weight we can get. Well, what'd you say you lost, Stumpy? I said I lost three pounds of beef. That's what I said. Oh, oh excuse me, yeah. Uh, I thought you said three pounds of blubber. No, you see here, you young maverick. I'm nothing but skin and muscle and bones. There's not an ounce of blubber on me. <laughs> oh, no? Oh, I thought maybe you were growing some insulation for the cold winter. You know, uh, something to keep your tummy warm. I, I'll insulate your tummy if I get a hold of you. You'll think you're a poor little sheep for standing all by your lonesome in a howling blizzard. <laughs> but take me from this old brother. He's going to scalp me and turn me out the pasture. <laughs> what are you afraid of? You weigh three pounds more than he does. <laughs> Wait a get my hands on you. You wish you had some blubber when I started punching you. Oh, no. Come on. I give up. <laughs> okay. Uh, not this time. I'm afraid I might lose a few more pounds of tussling with you. <laughs> you fellas had better save your energy for later when we meet the Cole brothers. Uh, look, let's go over to the diner and have some supper, huh? Maybe with a good supper we'll think up an idea to make the sled go faster. Yeah, and not only that, maybe Stumpy might gain back his three pounds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Say, have we got any more emery cloth, Ned? Yeah, in the paper bag, Phil. Oil's in the can there. Yeah, I see it. You sure got these runners smooth as glass. You gotta be slicker than that. Don't think for a minute Bill Jefferson and his boys aren't gonna put up a tough battle to hold their title. They'll give us the toughest competition we'll ever have. You're telling me. Those guys really know their bobsledding. You know, we've been running away with the other races we've been in. But this time... I'm afraid it'll be different. Understand that their official speed record is just a hair over 65 miles per hour. But that doesn't mean anything. No, you're right. They could have been holding back. Or maybe not driving for top advantage. That's what's been worrying me. We don't really know what their sled can do in a tight race. Say, where'd Mac and Les go? Oh, over to register at the judges' headquarters. Oh, we're supposed to meet them at the diner for supper. Good. Getting close to chow time, that's for sure. I know one thing else for sure, Phil. What's that, Ned? Those rangers will know they've been in a race before we're through with them. Oh, 
Well, we must be the talk of the town, fellas. Everybody is looking at us and talking among themselves. They're probably wondering if we're going to win the race this year. Yeah. Hey, look who just came in the door. Huh? <laughs> the Cole brothers. Now the fun will begin. Hey, fellas, here comes the new bobsled champions, the Cole brothers. That's right. Oh, yeah. Cool. Cool. yeah. Uh, I hear they got a faster sled than the Rangers. Yeah, too yeah. bad the Rangers ain't going to be champions anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Very funny, I call it. <laughs> That's all right, Henry. Let him have his fun. Maybe he'll have to eat those words later. Hello, fellas. Hi, Ned. Hi. Bill. Oh, hi. 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 I uh, guess we know each other more from a distance than close up, huh? Yeah, but nice to see you. Hey, Rangers, you ain't gonna let those Cole brothers beat you in the race, are you? Or maybe you're gonna back out, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the smaller the hen, the louder the cackle, I always say. Yes, sure <laughs> And maybe if we leave, you fellas can eat in peace. Oh, don't leave on our account, Tom. We don't care what they say. <laughs> we don't either, Phil. We're through, and there's a lot of work to do. The race is Saturday, only two days off. So we'll see you fellas at the inspection round tomorrow afternoon, huh? Okay, Bill. Nice seeing you again. Same here. Well, let's go, fellas. Yeah, we'll see you. Oh, Bill, man. See you at the top of Culver's Peak, Rangers. Too bad you ain't gonna win the race. Oh, now, don't you be crazy. They'll win, all right. Maybe take a little trick or two, but they'll win. Uh -huh. <laughs> Who said that? Who made that crack? Yeah, that's what I thought. Somebody here has a big mouth and no brains. If that person would spend as much energy promoting good sportsmanship instead of running it down, he'd be doing something. Give it to him, Stumpy. We can take all the ribbon you can dish out, but keep it good-natured. And don't make cracks about sportsmanship. This race will be won by the best team. That's the only real qualification for a championship that we know of. Man, Stumpy sure got mad when that loudmouth lifted up his voice. He was mad. But did you notice he didn't lose control of himself? Afraid if somebody had accused me that way, I'd probably plowed right into him. There's one angle to this that got, that's got me worried. I think we're in for it now. Hmm? In for what? A tough race. Bill and his rangers have been embarrassed publicly. And they'll win this race if it kills them. How you feeling now, Stumpy? Kind of cool off a bit? Boy... I sure thought you were going to clean up the place. Well, uh, I, I apologize, fellas. I really shouldn't uh, let that heckler get me excited that way. Well, you got a right when that heckler accuses us of some dishonesty and poor sportsmanship. Bill? Yeah, pal? I've been thinking. We've just got to win that race so as to make those smart alecks eat their words. You know, I've been thinking the same thing, Henry. It's up to us to defend our championship with every last ounce of energy that we've got. And you fellas can get set for a tough battle, believe me. Those Cole brothers are tough bobsledders. <laughs> Just feel this sled runner, will you? Why, it's as smooth as a... Well, as a... <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter, young fella? Can't you find any words? Yeah, sort of, Stumpy. What word would you use to describe smoother than smooth? Huh? Well, I, I ain't at no dictionary, you know. <laughs> That's a tough question, Henry. Yeah, what word could we use to describe smoother than smooth? You tell me. I don't know. Why, this sled runner's smoother than a... a... <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you put it this way, Henry? That runner's slicker than a banana peel in a oh, grease pit. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Come on. Let's find out how smooth those runners are. 
We'll take the sled out and make a couple of trial runs down the straightaway in Shady Valley. We'll clock ourselves with this stopwatch to see what speed we've picked up. Henry, have you got the stopwatch ready? All set. Don't make any sudden turns, because... I'm not able to hold on too good while working this watch with one hand. No, hold you on, Henry. <laughs> Fine. Say when, Bill. I'll start the watch. Uh, Stumpy, give us a push onto the straightaway and jump on quick. Should I start the watch now? As soon as Bill tells you. Hold on to your umbrellas. Here we go. <laughs> okay, well, the caboose is hooked. Now, Bill. Start your watch when we pass the marker, Henry. You should have pretty good speed up by that time. Now! Boy, can we pick it our speed? Maybe we'll break our own record. Bill's not able to talk now. Wind's too strong in his face. You better not talk either. We're going to break our record! Stop the watch, Henry! What a thrill to zip along at a mile a minute. Sure does something to you. Yep, it sure does, Henny. I've got ten more gray hairs. <laughs> <laughs> What's the news, Bill? Uh, just a minute, fellas. I'll have it all figured out here. Oh, we must have broken our record. I just know it. Yep, you're right. We broke our own speed record. <laughs> oh, yippee! <laughs> oh, that is good news. How fast we go? 68 miles an hour, even. Way up! Oh, <laughs> maybe we'll beat those cold brothers yet, eh, fellas? Uh, maybe. Why, sure we will. Why, their sled at its best only went four tenths of a mile an hour faster than ours. And we're used to this bobsled course. We ought to be able to beat them easy. Sure, all well, that is good news. Bill, you're smiling for the first time since the cold brothers came to town. Yes, Tom. Because now I'm confident that we can beat them. Break it, Les! Break the sled! Phil, what's our speed? Wait till I get my pencil and paper out. Come on, Phil, you can figure faster than that. Keep your shirt on, Ned. You want this to be accurate or don't you? Sure, but... Mac, Les, will you get your big faces out of my light? Okay. Leave the genius alone, boys. He's hard at work. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to know just as bad as you do, but it takes a few minutes. There we are. Look at this, will you? What? <whistles> 70 miles an hour. Oh. Right on the button. Boy, will we beat those ranges to a standstill. We've got better than fo a four-mile-an-hour advantage on them. Bill, hmm? guess what I heard? It isn't good news either. I guess it isn't by the look on your face. What's up, pal? I just heard that the Cole brothers made a clocked run, and they broke their own speed record. No. Well, who told you this? Well, nobody in particular. Everybody knows it about town. They also know something else. Yeah? They know that we broke our speed record, too, on our timing run. Huh? Well, how'd they find that out? We haven't told a soul. Unless... Unless what? Unless somebody was watching us. When we figured our time, they could tell we broke our own record by the commotion we made. Yeah, yeah. I'll bet that's how they did it. What are we going to do now? Go get Stumpy and Tom. We've got to work more on that sled if we're going to win the championship. So, the rumors say that the Rangers beat their own time record on that test run. Yes, and that rumor has it that we beat ours, too. Somebody must be watching us. 
What are we going to do? Maybe make another test run and see if we can pick up more speed? I think we should. In fact, let's make three runs in the morning and take an average. Yeah, yeah, that's a terrific idea. But let's try to keep it secret. Let's do it about noontime. There won't be so many people around then. Right. We'll get to the course just around noon and... Well, you know something? What? I'm even hoping that we can break our 70 mile an hour speed. Come on, Henry. Get out of the sack. Sure. Uh, I'm half dressed already. Is the moon out good and bright? Just like a searchlight. Hurry up now. We'll pick up Stumpy and Tom, and then out to the bobsled course we go. Stumpy, he's waiting. Hit with you, Stump. Uh, uh, yeah, good night, fellas. Uh, oh, what an inhuman hour to wake a fella out of his sleep. His eyes open even at this hour of the night. Are you all set, Tom? Uh, I couldn't sleep at all. Too keyed up to see if we beat our new record. Okay, fellas, all out. We'll run the entire course from top to bottom and see just how fast this sled can really go. What's the news, Bill? Come on, make it faster with the pencil, will you? I'm trying, pal. We'll have our speed here in a minute. We're going so fast, it's hard to tell if we broke our new speed record or not. <laughs> It'll be mighty close, honey, mighty close. Y you got it? We did break all our records, fellas. Oh, oh. What was it? 71 and a half miles oh, an hour. Oh, man. Boy. Boy, now I know we'll win the race, huh, Bill? Yeah, pal, I think we will. I doubt that the Cole brothers can top this speed. Good morning, everybody in Knotty Pine. This is your early bird edition of the news, Dan Fitzgibbons reporting. The big event of the day here in Knotty Pine is the championship bobsled races. There are 24 sleds entered in the meet in their various classes according to the speeds of the sleds. While all 12 of the races are important, the event is highlighted by the top contenders for the title and the trophy. This reporter has it from a good source that the title race between the champions, our own Rangers, and the challengers, the Cole brothers, is going to be a toughie. We're told that both teams are in top condition, and they've been grooming their sleds for better than mile a minute speeds. If you want to see championship bobsledding in a real battle for the title, come out this afternoon to the course. Both the Rangers and the Cole brothers are undefeated. The big question of the moment is, who will win? Well, as long as we're ready, let's all go out to the course and watch the other class runs. I think it'll do us good. Take some of the pressure off. Yeah, and now. Maybe I'll relax a little until we take off. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's get in the truck and go. Yeah. Uh, Henry, you want to drive? Sure. All aboard. Be careful now. The sled sticks off the back of the truck about two feet. I'll watch it.
Here we go. Hey, Henry, put the brakes on. You're backing up. Don't get me. There's not enough time to fix the sled now, Bill. Yeah, looks that way, Tom. Steering gear bent, and the front runners all twisted up pretty bad. Take a week to fix it. Oh, that's too bad. Henry stepped on the accelerator instead of the brake. Well, he's been under tension and just got excited, that's all. Well, it's more our fault than his, if you ask me. If we hadn't hollered at him, he might have been all right. Yeah, I guess you're right. Say, where's Henry now? Hmm? Well, I don't know. Oh, well, there he goes around the corner of the office. Henry! Henry, wait! I'll go after him. You fellas take the sled off the truck and kind of patch the garage up the best way you can for now. Hmm. Come on now, pal. Buck up. I wish I were dead. What a knucklehead I turned out to be. I'll beat my ears off, will you, Bill? Not sure what I deserve. Oh, oh, brother. Why did I ever do that? Look, I should beat you because you make a mistake? <laughs> no, pal. Then we'd all have to be beaten. Because we all make mistakes. Now look, Henry. Start acting like a man and not like a whipped puppy. Besides, this is just as much our fault as it is yours. Huh? I don't understand. I'm the guy that put the truck in reverse and stepped on the gas instead of the brake. It was I who wrecked the sled, not you. But if we hadn't yelled at you, this might not have happened. Bill, you're a wonderful guy. You mean, you're not sore at me? Sore? <laughs> of course not. Like I said, we all make mistakes. This time we made one together, that's all. What about Tom and Stumpy? Oh, they feel the same way that I do. But what the title, a championship, what about that? Well, if we don't win it this year, we'll win it next year. Anyway, Henry, I have an idea that may save the day for us. Who knows? I want you to come with me. And we'll send Stumpy and Tom out to the runway to see if they can't get the officials to hold off for just a little while. If we move fast, we got about two hours. That's our story, Mr. Snyder. Yeah, you boys are in a spot. And I can't help you out as one bobsled champion to another. You mean you've still got your sled, Mr. Snyder? Got it? Well, look, Henry, I take care of it like a baby. That sled got me the championship ten times in a row. And there hasn't been a day in 15 years that it hasn't been ready to go. Bell, did you hear that? Or am I dreaming? Mr. Snyder, if you'll let us borrow your sled, we'll take care of it just like you have. You will, huh? That's a promise on my word of honor. All right. You can take the sled. Well, there's nobody I'd rather lend it to than you. Maybe it'll win another championship. Its runners are smoother than glass. Yep, I've kept them polished all these years. Um, may I ask what the top speed of the sled is, Mr. Snyder? Yes, sir, you can. Last official test showed she did 71 and a half miles an hour. Well, that means that we've still got a chance. A chance? It means we've still got the championship, pal. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Snyder. We'll get the sled on the truck and head for the meet. Well, it's about time you fellas got here. The judges are getting the flipperty gibbets waiting for us to start. We got a sled, Stumpy. You did? Well, praise the Lord. Uh, good one. Stumpy, this sled won the bobsled championship for ten straight years, and it's in A1 condition. Oh, good, good. So you see what we've got to live up to. Okay, fellas, let's lift the sled off and get on the starting line and watch those runners. They've got to win this race. <laughs> Are you men uh, 
you ready? All set, guys. All righty. Now, uh, keep a fire on them here pintoons if you want to stay alive. Ready? Get set. Go! Push with all your might, Stumpy! Let her rip bill like grease lightning! <laughs> Folks, we're standing here on the straightway toward the end of the course. There's the flag from the first curve. The Rangers are in the lead, and now they head into the hairpin turns. There's another flag. Both teams went into the turn neck and neck. Oh, what a race this is. There's a yellow flag I can see through my field glasses. The Cole brothers came out of the first hairpin turn in the lead. And there's the green flag. The Rangers took the lead into the next curve. Now there's two flags in the short straightaway. Both teams are still neck and neck. Oh, this is going to be a toughie. Wait till they hit the straight run down the valley. Then you'll see some real championship speed. Get to the chin side curve, Sonny! We gotta beat them on our colors on the inside! Come on, Bill! Swing your way to in on this last curve. I'm taking the top to give them extra speed for the straightaway. Wow! The Rangers shot out of that last turn like a bullet. The Rangers took the top of the curve to gain extra downward drive for the straightaway. The Cole brothers are right behind them and moving over for a pass. Here they come to the finish line. The Cole brothers are only behind by a sled length. They can't seem to make it up. The Rangers win! The Rangers are still the champions! Bill, let me congratulate you. That was the neatest maneuver I've ever seen, taking the top of that last turn. You sure lifted you just high enough to give you the extra speed you needed for that straightaway. Thanks, Phil. You boys gave us a tough race. <laughs> they certainly thought we'd lost there for a while. That was real championship bobsledding, Bill. I'm glad you won. Huh? Why do you say that, Ned? Well, because of the accident you had. Your quick thinking saved the title for you. Well, that's sporting of you to say so, Ned. Not really. We didn't want to win by a forfeit, Bill. That's not championship sledding. Mm. That's a real tribute to your sense of sportsmanship, Cole Brothers. You're a great team. Perhaps we can race again next year. Who knows? Well, see you next week for more adventure with... <laughs>